Hello beautiful people and welcome to Creating with Mimi. Today's video we are going to take a look at this home remodel. It is a home that was built in 1950, 53 or 55 and it pretty much hadn't been touched. What you're seeing now are the various rooms subject to the home remodel. The floors were dated, the bathroom, oh my gosh, it was just hideous with the pink tub and pink toilet, truly original to the space. So I'm going to walk you through this remodel and give you some tip that you can use in your project. Let's start with this entry hall, which was super narrow. It was very small. That back door didn't make any sense because it led into the family room, but the living room is directly to the left. I wanted to create a space where it's a little bit more formal and it screams entry hall. In the process, and I talk about this a lot, most likely you guys can get a big bang for your buck just by painting areas out. Decided to close off that door, add a fresh coat of paint, and the end result is gorgeous. This living room you have the old 1950 bookcases that are ingrated inside of the wall a dining room table that was not used smudged and I wanted to give it a new floor I love the bookcases so I kept those you have the old floral sofa the glass and wood table, sconces on the wall, which are back in style now, but it just didn't flow and it wasn't good for their particular use. Added this gorgeous rug, kept it really simplistic, but it has a pattern on it, so it gives a lot of texture. The sofas are custom made to fit the space. So you have two twin sofas that face one another. Gorgeous picture window that looks outside. The dining area we'll talk about a little later, but look at the arms of this sofa. The nail heads, the actual shape on the sofa, it's transitional. So it's not too traditional and not too contemporary. Love the new hardwood floors. Look at the bookcases. I removed the old oval facade and the doors, updated it, and just opened everything up and gave it a much needed contemporary, fresh, updated look. Let's talk about this family room which had a 1950 slider. This was an actual sliding door that was coming apart and it was just dangerous to stand next to. It had a wall leading into the kitchen. I'll show you guys that later how we took that wall down and opened up the space. We replaced the actual slider that was dated with a new picture window and an updated slider. Painted it out white added a dark sofa and just a small round table that was a contrast and it picks up on the colors that are in the pillows. I needed a low back sofa because this view for the outside can be seen from the living room. Mm -hmm. 
dining room was dark dated. The only thing that they had that was great were the sconces. I'm not sure why this plywood floor was ever in place. The fireplace was dated. They tried to update it a little bit more, but it was just boxy and it was just awkward. The actual dining room area was where the living room is positioned, so I flip-flopped it. Place the table back in the original dining room with the sconces. I removed that bookcase that was just awkward. And that's what you're looking at now is some of the prep work. The fireplace, we left the mold, we left the marble in place and just gave it a new fresh coat. Let's talk about these chairs. These chairs belong to the client. They were her grandmother's chair. So obviously they were about maybe 30 or 40 years old. She wanted to find a way to utilize them in this design. I always like to keep things that are sentimental to clients. I took the chairs to an upholster, had the chairs reupholstered, the back of the chairs, I cut the frame down, added the nail heads, tufted the back, and reuse the chairs. They are absolutely gorgeous. The entire concept was to modernize the space, have it contemporary, and I think we've accomplished that. Added an updated sideboard, the wood for the doors matches the floors, few accessory pieces, and that wallpaper behind the mirror is to die for. It has a sand-like finish on the wallpaper. Let's get to this beautiful pink guest bathroom that hadn't been touched from the original and we wanted to make it much more functional. The toilet wasn't even working in this space. There was one sink, a very small window, pretty much prohibited from enlarging that window. The shower area, well you could say it was a shower and a tub area was, I don't even want to call it god awful, but it was. Because this particular home was so old and dated, we needed to level the floor and actually add in a new concrete floor. Brought in marble-like porcelain tile, a new bathtub, and the rest is history. Yeah, I wanna be a nine to five. You made me come alive, babe. 
I wanna be the time of your life Come change my life just for a while Let's go for a ride now Outside the club, we come alive Let's go for a ride now I wanna get to know you I don't wanna leave so soon You and me forever Or maybe just for tonight Do you wanna get to know me? I will give it all to you You and me forever Don't care about nothing else Making it happen, yeah Cause you're a winner I'm not gonna fall down This ain't my final round hey, Don't get any in the corner I don't wanna be alone hey, Sitting looking like a loser But I don't wanna lose ya Come change my life just for a while Let's go for a ride now Outside the club, we come alive Let's go for a ride now. I wanna get to know Let's take a look at this kitchen, which was closed off and compartmentalized away from everything else in the back of the house. It did not have an island. The oven area was around the corner. It just did not function. This linoleum, I think it's linoleum or vinyl flooring. What we decided to do was open up the space into the remainder of the home. It opens up into the family room and it gives it such a wide open concept. And now everything that's going on in the kitchen can be viewed from the family room and what's going on in the family room can be viewed from the kitchen. installed new custom cabinets which were definitely needed in this space a long but narrow island so now there is a workplace that is available for the chef in the kitchen enjoy the remainder of the video let me know if you guys would like to see the rest of this home remodel project. Until next time, make every day a great day. The sun is going down now. Been at it for a while. And I have had enough of this. I doubt that we can solve it Been trying for so long And I just can't ignore That it won't ever be the same No, we will never be that good again Don't drag it out Skip the innocence Things will never be the same again
these memories that we made won't fade away for a while You said you don't mind that you'll be just fine No room for second chances I got all that I need No need to apologize We won't waste any more time, yeah I am all that I need No need to apologize I got all that I need No need to apologize No, we won't waste any more time, yeah I am all that I need No need to apologize No, we won't waste any more time, yeah wanted to construct a new bathroom. We utilized space that was in a secondary bedroom and created and crafted a new bathroom. These closets were never used. The slider wasn't working. So we took the slider out, framed in a new wall, a seat for the new shower, and gave them a complete bathroom. So this is the primary bathroom. Added a beautiful mosaic tile, shower wall, a seat, but this shower is what we call a roll-in shower, meaning there is no dam area. The floor throughout is the same. If you decide when you're older you need a wheelchair, it will have wheelchair access. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that way you'll get notified each time a new upload comes up. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of those that are following, and make every day a great day.